The back rooms. What are the back rooms? What creatures lurk within their damp yellow walls? What would you do if your friend snorted what you thought was a regular old fleshipede and then wouldn't shut up about how you should really change your lifestyle and fill your kidney with insect eggs? This guy looks like he's struggling. Maybe we should give him a hand. Huh? huh? And what do you mean I shouldn't empty my entire bank account to throw this tropical telepathic bird a blow and blow party? All this and more on I destroyed your bathrooms. These are neural isopods, arthropod-like creatures that resemble large jungle centipedes. Instead of a chitinous interior, it has a soft, fleshy, slime-covered exterior to help it slide through tight spaces. They wait in the crevices of the back rooms and latch onto the lower leg of a wanderer before climbing up and attempting to enter the body through an orifice. They prefer to enter the body through the nose, ears, or mouth as it is closer to the brain and it's more easily accessible. Although, they have been reported to go in the anuses, urethras, eat through eyes, flesh, or bone to get to the brain. The neural isopod uses electric stimulation in order to manipulate the host's neurons, controlling its thought and movement. It brings its host to a nest where a swarm of neural isopods lay eggs inside the body, and in a few days the eggs will hatch and the victim will be slowly eaten alive as a living nursery to grow the babies. They grow up so fast. An adult neural isopod can control you to believe that you're in full control of your actions while it's puppeteering you, and you will willingly go to the nest. On the other end of the spectrum, juvenile neural isopods are only adept enough to roughly control the physical movements of the human body, so they basically make you walk like a stroke victim drunk Frankenstein towards your death while you completely are aware and terrified as to what is happening. While this is reversible, it takes more than just some almond water to do it. In fact, the creature will just drink the almond water from the victim's bloodstream, making the parasite stronger. You need to fully remove this isopod to the brain, and oftentimes attempts in this just end in full accidental lobotomy. We got one out of Swampus's set here, and I'm glad he's still alive, but he hasn't been quite the same. I wanna go to the fair. Plumps are nightmarish, pulsating, slithery, formless mounds of arms, legs, and other appendages. Oh god, I'm gonna come. They move by using their haphazardly positioned legs to drag their writhing, fat, grub-like mass across the moist, carpeted floor. While they move slowly when a wanderer is not in sight, this can be dangerously misleading, as they can accelerate to over 20 miles per hour in the blink of an eye. When they see a wanderer, they barrel full speed towards them before extending a long, hidden arm that can accost a prey at them from over 20 feet away. It will then then pull the victim into the massive limbs where they undergo a gruesome excruciating amalgamation process. Which really isn't that bad at all. This is a rabbit. Hot Topic Cyclops cousin of raving rabbits typically grow to the size of an adult man. This is not the maximum however because like some species of reptile, the only growth limit they have is what their nutrition can support. With lots of fresh wanderers, this boy can grow big and strong to almost 16 feet or 5 meters tall. Yes he will, yes he will. Rabbits have three legs and a single body structured like a tripod. They have jagged bumpy exoskeletons looking similar to rotted wood. Their eyes are designed by Neuralink and are able to shine a light into the darkness to help them see. Their mouth has a human-like jaw, but all the teeth inside are sharp canines. Their exoskeletons are made of a two-inch thick crystalline structure that is much more durable than a regular exoskeletal chitin. This effectively makes the rabbit bulletproof, fire resistant, good at active listening, basically this thing is a cockroach, it doesn't matter if you have a nuke. These creatures are incredibly aggressive, mauling survivors and fully eating them in a matter of minutes, not even leaving a bone behind. This is Jerry. Jerry is what I live for. Jerry is everything. Jerry is love. Jerry is life. Jerry is a small bird that looks suspiciously similar to a parrot. It can control the mind of the person holding it, making it say things like Jerry is everything. All hail Jerry. I'm not gay, but I'd let Jerry peg me. Those controlled by Jerry eventually go missing shortly afterwards, with the parrot eventually reappearing on a seemingly random level to find a new host. Giving Jerry sunflower seeds or almond water will tame Jerry, allowing you to pick him up safely. This will only work with the person who fed Jerry, and anyone else who holds Jerry will be affected normally. With this knowledge, you can weaponize Jerry and use him to your advantage by basically creating a missing person bird trap to get rid of anybody you hate. Let's play a game, huh? One of these I made up on my own, and the other three are from the fandom page. Leave a comment which one you thought I made up below. If you get it right, I'll let you live. Some of you have to be expecting that I'm lying to you at this point. Anyways, that's it for this time. If you want us to no clip back into the back rooms and explore more of the moist crevices and corners in this dimension has to offer, make sure to like, comment, subscribe with all notifications enabled so I know you want to see more. I'm sorry this one took so long, I woke up in- don't know what happened for a weekend. Now I'm covered in burns. Okay, bye.